Hello, hi, how are you today? Welcome to my channel. I'm Patricia, located in Chicago. And my channel is specifically about twin flame ascension, your symptoms, the ups, the incredible highs, and sometimes the crushing lows. I'm here to help. In today's video, I want to talk to you about anxiety and panic attacks. And I want to um, help you to understand that there are some really simple things for you to do that I teach in order to help you not only deal or cope, but to actually completely get rid of it. There's a lot that I know. I've been doing this for 15 years, and I'm going to try and explain this in sort of a very simple, easy to understand way. Okay? So... What is anxiety? Well, it runs a spectrum of, you know, feelings, and these are sensations in the body, things you feel. There's also emotions, and people will have triggers, things that will trigger out anxiety. Now, some of that is normal and what you might call rational. You know, some anxiety about certain things is actually normal and rational, such as you know you're going to have an interview go up, such as I know I'm going to do this video and I'm going to talk to who knows how many people. Okay, stage fright. These are normal times when people will get anxiety, but this is getting blown out of proportion because it's happening so frequently to people that they wonder, is there something wrong with me? Let's take a little rewind on that, okay? First of all, don't try to be perfect, okay? We're in the month of love here, and part of that love is self-love and cutting your own self some slack. The next thing is seeking help. So when it comes to anxiety, you know, like, let's kind of uh, put this in perspective. How irrational does your anxiety feel? Do you feel like you're getting angry at yourself for the frequency of this? Do you feel like you're not getting answers on it? Does it seem to happen at certain times of the day or do certain events trigger it? Okay, now this may seem like psychology, but it's actually physiology. Okay, you were born with certain things so that you could actually live here and protect yourself. You're supposed to have some form of self-protection. Who doesn't? Well, people with a death wish, you know, people that are adrenaline junkies, they want to jump out of a plane, they want to, you know, they're always getting that going. Guess who some of you are attached to? You're attached to someone who is like always, 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 always like running those kind of hormones like ragged and it is taking a toll. There's history, there's families, there's family patterns, there's a genuine crisis. There's chaos in the world, okay? So all these things, if you were to take it and like add all these things, it's pretty heavy. It's weighing on you. Let's talk about panic attacks. What is a panic attack? Well, the physical symptoms of a panic attack can actually look like something else. Some people think they're having a heart attack. They can have tension in their chest. They can feel their heart race a bit. They can feel like they want to run, okay? Again, is it normal to run? Yeah, sometimes it is. And yet we talk ourselves out of running away from danger when every alarm bell in our body is going off. Now it's all skewed. Now it's messed up. Does that mean you have to be perfect? No, it means you need to get on track, integrating the proper light body connections so that you feel steady and balanced. Balance is a key. Safety is a key. Harmony is a key. And if you're not getting those things in your life, it's time to start. It's time to start the integration, which is the only thing that matters, that gets you on the track of where your life is supposed to go, how it's supposed to look, who you're supposed to be with, okay? We can't put the cart before the horse. Stop putting the cart before the horse. Start with yourself, okay? You have many moving parts. You are a glorious, multidimensional, multifaceted being with all kinds of past experiences. Some of them you want to keep. Some of them 
you don't ever want to remember again. That is possible with the twin flame body and the integration of it. Having a new template or blueprint or whatever your word is for being able to actually make new relationships with things. That's why I call it that. The template of a relationship. So I have a little demo here, very little demo to show you, okay? And I'm going to use these bottles as an example, okay? So to get started, yes, this is my bottle of Kvass. What is Kvass? Well, I'll just explain it. For those of you who don't know, um, that is in Cyrillic writing. It's not in the uh, Western alphabet, as we call it, or, you know, it's not in the Greek alphabet. <laughs> Anyways, what is it? Well, it's actually a form of a fermented drink. In a lot of ways, it tastes like prunes. And even though prunes can be um, very delicious to some people, it's not something always people want to drink. So what people would do is they would take a little bit of bread, which provided yeast and some water and a little bit of sugar, and they would ferment this drink. What would the fermentation do? The fermentation would actually break down into the elemental components. Essentially, it would give people vitamins in a very dark and hard and cold winter. That is why people are having a resurgence of drinks like kombucha. Okay, some people, all they know is that kombucha makes their tummy feel good. Kombucha is providing some probiotics for them. It's much simpler. It's breaking down into some basic components, and that is all that our ancestors have had sometimes in the past. So while this is commercially produced, um, I have this because my Russian heritage or my Ukrainian, wherever my people were from, and I'll be talking about that when I get my ancestry test back. We uh, have this right now. This is my example. What is this representing besides a fermented drink? It's representing a lung, okay? So the lungs are actually pretty big. Most people don't get their breath all the way down, okay? And as tensions arise and they get tense and tense and tense and tense, guess what's happening? Now, it is possible to breathe about this much, okay? Breathe about this much, okay? Again, how do you get that breath deep in? How do you get the channels open so that it's nourishing the higher 5D breath is nourishing the inner organs. You can't do it without my modality. I make it simple, but here's the thing. The channels are actually supposed to open for... The channels are supposed to open so that what happens is it's like a tube, okay? It's like this. Then it needs to open. Then it needs to open and stay open. Stay remaining in an open state where sometimes it's open and sometimes it's a little bit tighter. Why would it be tighter? Well, think about if you go to a large event where there's lots of people, there's lots of people's energies, do you want everyone's energy encroaching into your space? Hell no. Because those people are going to feel like energy vampires. You're going to pick up on things. Why do you think the anxiety and panic is so problem, prom, huh, prevalent, prominent right now? It's because of this world chaos. It's because people are feeling like their world is turning upside down. Nothing makes sense. Everyone's gone crazy. It's up, it's down. Okay, think about you and where you want to be. Okay, the more you pay attention to the politics or the things, I mean, that friend that's calling me, she's upset about a report that said there's, you know, inflation is up and it's one person's, you know, fault. No, 
it is several systems fault. It's called supply and demand. But, you know, when people see this, they're seeing stuff on the media and they're immediately getting worked up. You have to stop getting yourself all worked up about the things of the world, okay? Economies have gone up and down. People have been able to live and thrive even in not so great of times, okay? We have a lot more resources now than we've ever had in our existence. So what else are you right on the brink of? You are in the waves of ascension, and that means that you have been open activated your first initial activation to receive you have to meet this halfway it requires participation now the third thing I'll show you is this is how most people breathe they're breathing here or they're their mouth breathing you know they're just breathing in watch someone as they're reading something okay What's happening? Their mouth is closed. They're not breathing. Watch them on their phone. They're holding their breath. Okay? If you're not cognizant of your breath, and God, I hate the word mindful by now, but what it means is be present in the moment. Pay attention to what you're doing. Okay? Pay attention to you. Not just your fingers. Not just what's happening around you. Okay? But pay attention of your own physiology. How deep are you really breathing? Okay, are you breathing this deep? That's not getting it down into each lung, is it? Are you breathing this deep? If so, very good. You got a little bit more to go. And how are you going to do it? So to get you some help with anxiety, I don't care if it's daily. I don't care if it's Okay, like we have a full moon coming up. Is it every full moon? So is it monthly? Is it a constant where you feel like you're walking on eggshells all the time? Get moving on it. In other words, that means take action and learn what you can do with your light body because your light body is the only thing that is going to keep you up, safe, connected, and loved. And we're in the month of love. This is one of the highest forms of self-love possible. Okay? Care of self. Caring about yourself. Feeling sorry for yourself. Okay. If you're scared, you're scared. We're going to break it down. Okay? Is it rational? Is it irrational? Is it amplified? Because there's two of you. Yeah, that happens. Who's the one jumping out of planes? Who's the one that's a paramedic? Who's the one that's a firefighter? Is there always a crisis? For some people, that's where they live. They live in crisis town. And we have to stop that. There is a plan here, and I have tools and a modality. Now, just to make sure that you know about this, I have created, based on some donations that some generous people gave me last year, I've created sort of my own personal mini grant from my business to four people so that they can join this. I put it out yesterday and the funds will go to the instructor, not to the person who is participating, but you can participate in my class. I would like this to go to people of color to honor some of the people that have helped my own child. And for the month of February, Black History Month. The link is below. I do ask you to apply so that I have your information. And this is what I'm able to do right now. Okay? This is what I'm able to do. This is my way of paying it forward. If you would like to join, they there are some pay what you feel is that you can tickets. It's a donation basis. And the suggested price is listed down there. So Breath movement, breath work is going to help you immensely. Is it going to fix every crisis in your life? Maybe not, but it's a good start. So let's get started somewhere. Thanks so much for watching and bye now.